Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today we'll be filming a Wish stationery haul. Hey guys, so just a little bit of a, I mean, disclaimer or something, I don't know. But when I purchased this stuff from Wish, I am pretty sure they had this free shipping sale thing going. So none of the items I paid shipping on, but you will notice, well, you might notice if you're familiar with Wish prices or something, I don't know. I'm telling you right now in case you don't notice, but... Most of these items are more expensive than they usually would be from Wish, like as in the stock price of the item itself. And that is because it had free shipping. So I'm fairly certain, like looking at it now, like I click into my order as I'm filming this to take like the screen captures for the photo. And then I was looking at the prices to put up on the screen. And if you compare the price that I paid compared to what is currently listed as, it's a hell of a lot cheaper with listing but you pay shipping. So basically what they did for this big free shipping thing was up the stock price and remove the shipping price. So that's why it looks like a lot of this stuff is more expensive than it normally would be, but I was paying shipping. So the amounts kind of evened themselves out because this is how much you'd basically be paying if you were to pay for the item now plus the shipping, but it's more expensive. So there was no such thing as a free shipping thing. They just tacked the shipping onto the price of the item. So yeah just thought i'd mention that as you, you may notice if you're familiar with wish and buy stationary stuff off wish that some of these items were more expensive just a little disclaimer there for that i didn't notice at the time like i didn't go on there and order this stuff during that time because of the free shipping thing the free shipping thing just happened to be on when i was purchasing these items so yeah but just thought i'd mention that as yeah this stuff looks a lot more expensive than you know, it would be on a normal basis for Wish. So I have 10 items here from Wish. So there's actually meant to be 11, but one of the items I was refunded for. So I'm assuming that means that uh, it's not coming. Um, it's the only thing that hasn't arrived yet. And then I just looked through my emails and I've been refunded for it. So, and it's funny because the email said, per your instruction, we have refunded you. I'm like, I haven't spoken to you. I also got refunded for something I have received, not for this video. It was like little um, silicon reusable tea bags. Um, yeah, I got refunded for them, but I've received them. I mean, I'm not complaining, but what? So yeah, I have 10 items here. I want to try out some Wish items. We have all types of stationery here. Majority is to do with bullet journaling, but also some watercolor because I want to try and get into watercolors. So yes let's just jump into it and see what i got firstly the one item that we're missing is a watercolor brush pen set hey guys so it's actually the next day after i filmed the clips that you've just seen and the item that i said was i didn't think was coming because i received a refund for it it actually arrived so i actually got this for free because i've already received the refund well it's not really a refund it was store credit so i can use it to purchase something else on wish but this is the watercolor brush set with 20 colors i'm just going to carefully take out the black one because it looks like it's been leaking so i'm just going to sit this right here in front of me on the box because as you can see there's like a smudge of ink right where it was so it looks like it's been leaking but it did come with one of the brush pens that you fill up with water, uh, like the watercolor pens that you fill up with water and then like squeeze the water out and use that. Then it also came with 20 uh, colored brush pens. So I'll do some swatches of these and put these in. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this. I just wanted to jump in here because I was putting in the clip of the swatches over the top of the clip that's already there. So my voice was in there, but you can see the swatches, right? Um, I accidentally pressed the green screen part and apparently two of the colors are correct to blue slash green screen and you could see me throw it and I cracked up. <laughs> so I just, I'm just going to include that right now. Um, but we've got a pretty good array of colors here from pinks, green, and then we'll be back to the video. <laughs> but we've got a pretty good array of colors here from pinks, greens, blues, purples, grays, browns, yellow, orange. So yeah, I'll try out a couple of these and I'll put in some swatches. Actually, I'll probably try out all these and put in some swatches. But yeah, they did arrive. They look pretty good so far. The swatches will tell whether they're actually good or not, which you'll be able to see them. Let's just continue on to the rest of the video then. So the first item is out of its bag. This is actually a washi tape dispenser. And by the look of it, this is exactly the same as the Kmart ones, which I already have three of. So I ordered this one from Wish and then also got some from Kmart. 
when I did a Kmart stationery haul. Actually, I don't think it was in the Kmart stationery haul. I think I received it afterwards. But yeah, it's exactly the same. It's just a little washi tape dispenser. The only difference between this and the Kmart ones is the Kmart ones are just fully clear. They don't have green. So yeah, all you do is you spin this, take that out, put your washi tapes on, put that back in, and then use it like a normal tape dispenser. And I think you can pop this out and change where the you want it really jagged or like close jagged yeah there you go so this side is really thick and this side's really thin jagged cutting so you can change the blade you can do that on the kmart ones as well so yeah this is exactly the same and it even has the same little feet and holes so you can stack them so Literally exactly the same as Kmart's. I'll have to compare the prices though. I'm not sure which one was cheap. So next we have a watercolor set. And by the sounds of that, one of them just fell out. I oh, know it's the brush going up and down. That's fine. This is just a watercolor paint set. I'll just take the plastic off it. The bottom of the packaging is actually cracked. Um, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's clear, but the bottom of the packaging's actually been cracked, probably in the mail. And also, is there a special way to get this open? Because oh fuck. So let me get this paint brush out before it falls. We have a really crappy looking paintbrush. You see the bristles there? Let's just throw that over there. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like an eyeshadow palette, but this is a watercolor set. So obviously I'll have a play with this. We've got some brushes coming up. So actually I'm not gonna close that because I'm pretty sure that they can come out, but it literally just fell out in my hand. Next item is in this massive bag. This is some paintbrushes. I got these. These were advertised as watercolor paintbrushes. On here it just says professional painting set. Um, yeah, ain't no professional, but you know. And there's also a guide on the back of what type of paint brushing you can do with these brushes. So yeah, that's what all the paint brushes look like. We've got some flat, some pointed, some just normal thin ones, and then some chisel tip. Well, there's one chisel tip over here. So yeah, that's just what the paintbrush set looks like. They feel really nice, nice and soft, and hopefully they'll be good. We'll just have to see. Next we have some more kind of paint brushes. So these are water color brushes, so you can put water in the end and dip, just dip it straight into the watercolor paints. So I wanted to give these a go as well as standard paint brushes used for watercolor. So first we have, this came in a six pack, but the first pack has three and it's just three pointed tips of all different sizes. So you just unscrew, fill this up with water, screw that back on and you can, I think you can squeeze to um, try to kind of control how much water comes out of the tip. So yeah, those three are just pointed tips. And then we have this pack here, which one of them looks like it has a gel pen lid on it. So yeah, this one looks like it has a gel pen lid. This one is a flat brush. And then we have a bigger flat brush and a bigger flat brush. So we've got three pointed tips, three flat brushes, all with just different sizes. So yeah, I'll definitely be having a play with those. Then we have a big item. So this is actually an electronic <laughs> device, which I don't usually buy electronics from a wish, but I thought I'd give it a go. So this is a copy board basically. So this panel lights up, kind of looks like it is right now, but it's just reflecting my light. Um, so yeah, this lights up, it has a power cord and it basically, so you can put card or thicker materials on and trace through. I'll just make sure it works because that is, you know, the prime question. Does it actually work? Okay, so we have it plugged on and there is a blue light here. So we've got a power button. Oh, this is like touch screen. Okay, it works. It just lights up and you put your, what you want to stencil on and then the piece of paper over the top and it just makes it easier to stencil because you have that light coming through. So I thought that was really cool. I don't know what I'm going to be stenciling, but we'll see. I was thinking this might be helpful if I wanted to stencil a specific thing into my um, bullet journal because the uh, Archer and Olive bullet journal has 180 GSM paper, which is really thick and you cannot see anything through it. So I thought that might be a good idea for that. So next item is, this is some sticky notes. I'll just take it out of here. I've always seen these come up on Wish and I just think they're cute. So I decided to finally get some and it's just these leaf sticky notes and it's like a purple to blue leaf. And yeah, they're 
it's just sticky notes. The sticky bit is the blue end, so you peel them off like that. So I just think that, thought that was cute to use as sticky notes, and I'm always using sticky notes both in my bullet journal and out, so I thought that would be helpful. Now this I have not even opened. Oh, that's because of the description. Okay, I know this is translated from whatever language this is in, but we've got some corky stickers. So these are the corky stickers. In other words, corgis, the dogs. So this is just a heap of little stickers of corgis because corgis are adorable. I did try and order a different set of corgi stickers, but that was like a little while ago and I think I got refunded for them. They don't, they didn't come, but I'm, and I'm pretty sure I got refunded for them. So I ended up getting these ones. They're really small, like they're tiny, but I thought these might be cute if I wanted to do like a dog's type bullet journal spread. So yes, we got some corgi stickers. Okay, so next we have some stencils. So I saw this and I thought it was only the two in the picture, but there is definitely more than two in this package. So let's, whoa, pause. Obviously some of the bits of the stencil that they cut out, like the little pieces that they actually cut out have not come off because a heap of it just went all over me. So this will be kind of hard to see. Oh, you'll be able to see them. So we've just got some squares. No, this one's got, I said some of the cutout bits are still stuck on you. Um, yeah, so we've got some squares and some flags. We've got some little banners and triangles and we've also got the numbers. So like you can draw over this in whatever number you want. There's some more banners. There's also a little key down the bottom. This one's got some animals and the Pinterest logo and the Twitter logo, plane, um, some snowflakes and weather and stuff. And it's got some numbers down the bottom as well as some squares like if you wanted to draw some squares in your bullet journal there's some squares and circles and triangles there as well as some lines then we've got some more shapes triangles some arrows um weekend written there in text um just some more different shapes um, more shapes and some also some flags i think that goes up that way some like flag type banners um some weather type symbols. So we got some suns and moons and stuff like that. Then just some other random shapes. Um, some more random shapes. Yep, more random shapes. We've also got some houses. And last one, just some other random shapes. So it's basically just a heap of stencils. Like I said, I thought I was getting two. Obviously I didn't read the description too well because there is, I think 14 here and they're all actually numbered. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually a number in all the corners. So yeah, that'll be super helpful for bullet journaling. So I'm not like drawing everything all the time, I guess. We'll see, I wanted to use it for like the weather ones and like the little banners and that type of thing, but I definitely think I'm gonna get some use out of some of those. Now this was the last to arrive, it actually arrived today. So this is a mechanical pen or a pacer and it actually has thicker ink, uh, not ink, it's not a pen. Thicker lead is the word I'm looking for because most pacers you can get uh, either 0.5 or 0.8. The one I use is 0.8, but I also do have a 0.5 one. But this one is two mil. So this is standard HB pencil size. Has it got some lead in? It does have some lead in it. Let me just show you guys how thick this is compared to my normal one. So the black one is the new one, which is the two mil um, thickness lead. And then this one is, I think it's 0.8, isn't it? No, 0.7. So this is a normal pacer, this is the thick one. So I thought it'd be cool for drawing purposes to have this thick one and it's called the Holder Mech Pencil. And I literally just dropped it and snapped the lead off. This is why you don't leave the lead out, people. But yeah, I thought, thought this would be helpful if I was to be doing any drawing. It's also a um, hexagon shape, but it's got a grip at the end, so that's pretty cool. And yes, I did just break the end off that piece of lead, but Anyways, it came with the pacer and it also came with a pack of lead. So the lead pack looks like this. So there is a fair few in here. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It doesn't say actually on the package, but there is twelve in there. So that's super helpful. So the last item is some washi tape. And I'm trying to get this package open, but 
it's not cooperating. So, oh, I remember what this is. So it's this little tiny pack of washi tape. So yeah, this washi tape, I might do a like a little swatch around the trying to unstick this so you guys can see it but it's basically the days of the week over and over so you can just cut out the day of the week that you want and place it on your bullet journal or wherever so yeah I thought that would be super helpful if I just wasn't in the mood to have some like basic ass writing of my own to write the days and it actually starts with Friday and it hasn't even cut Friday in half so well done. So yeah that is all the items I got in this wish haul. I'm actually super happy with it all. I haven't tried the watercolors yet obviously or like the watercolor brushes but everything else seems to be working really well. The corgi stickers are really cute. The washi tape with the letters uh, the days of the week on it I think I'm gonna get some use out of. The sticky notes of course I'm gonna get some use out of as well as the um, washi tape dispenser and the pacer I think I'm gonna get some use out of as well. So far for my stationery haul from Wish I'm pretty happy with and I would recommend buying some stuff from Wish. Obviously it takes a while, it is coming from China. Have you seen those videos of them trying to, you know, track parcels in China? It's crazy. They're like walking over the packaging because there's like literally no floor, there's so many packages there. So yeah, not surprised it takes forever. Kind of wish they weren't walking over our packages though, that's a little annoying. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys want me to try another company for stationary items. I was thinking about doing an AliExpress one, but AliExpress and Wish are like basically the same thing. They're just a place for people to sell things. So the items will be basically the same thing, but I will probably do another Wish stationery haul in the future with some new, more interesting items, because there is always weird, funky things coming up on Wish. Let me know if you guys have a specific store you would like me to try. Um, remember, I am in Australia, so I'm a little bit limited to where I can shop from. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.